Happy Monday, everyone! It's Ella Whitaker, exclusive block status presenter with Unique. And today I just wanted to talk about a couple of quick beauty tips. So, so many people do ask me in regards to concealer and foundation. What do you do? How do you do it? How do you choose colors? How do you pick a concealer? So I want to give some quick beauty tricks as I'm actually doing my makeup. So I've already done my eyes today um, and can I say that my eyelashes look phenomenal and I have very, very short lashes. The 3D Fiber Lash Mascara is absolutely the bomb, creating so much length. It has given me double the length in my eyelashes uh, alone today. So I've already done my eyes. I wanted to talk about a couple beauty tricks and tips that so many people do ask me about. So first of all, I want to talk about a product that is a must have when doing your face makeup. So a primer is absolutely strategic and necessary underneath a foundation. And here is why. No matter what season you're in, doesn't matter where you live, you could live in four seasons, you could live in just basically two seasons or one season. Wherever you live, it doesn't matter. A primer is going to do exactly what it says it's going to do. It's going to prime your face. It is going to create a coverage on top of your face that is going to minimize pore size. It's going to make it equally textured. It's also going to make an even base to put your foundation on. So if you're a person that puts on foundation, whether it's a powdered foundation, cream foundation, or liquid foundation, primer is necessary. How much primer do you use? Very, very little. If you use too much primer, especially if you use different um, competing companies, a lot of them are very, very silky and a lot really runny. And what can happen is you will feel like your makeup is falling off and that's because there's too much primer on there. So priming the skin is super important. And the reason why, in addition, when you put your foundation on, your foundation will sink into your skin. I talked about that a little bit yesterday. So many people say, well, my foundation feels like it's gone by the end of the day. Number one, it has to do with quality. If your foundation is not lasting as long or looks chunky or whatever, it is because of the quality. Secondly, if your foundation uh, feels like it's sinking into your skin, it's because you have no barrier between that, between your skincare, if you're using any. I hope you're using skincare. And on top of that, your foundation will not seep into your skin. It will sit on the skin beautifully. It won't look cakey. It's gonna sit on your skin beautifully throughout the entire day and will last a very long time. It's binding onto something. So primer, what I love to do is make sure that when you do put on your primer, a huge tip and trick is put on your primer a couple minutes before you decide to do your foundation. So I always do my primer first, then kind of do my hair or brush my teeth or whatever. I let that set into my skin and here's why. The warmth of your skin, because we are warm blooded people, right? So our skin naturally warms to body temperature, right? So this product actually does so much better as a primer when it is warmer, when it actually molds into the skin, goes where the pores need to go and actually makes it look flawless before even putting on your foundation. If you slap on your primer right away and then your foundation, the primer is pretty much gonna mix in with your foundation. The point with primer is to put it on the skin, let it warm to the touch of your skin and it's doing its best work before the foundation's put on. So always wait to put on that. So I've already done my primer. I like to use a pea size amount. A little goes a very long way. And this is our unique primer. It is, if I could say out of all of our products, which we have a lot, I would say this is in my top three. That's how incredible this primer is. I've used many different um, companies and competing companies because I am a makeup artist and this one is the best one and by far better than Mac and any of the other ones that I've used. So I use that first and then I want to talk about some tips and tricks in regards to your concealer. I see a lot of people on here. So hi everyone. So concealer. Let's talk about concealer because a lot of people ask me, okay, do you do this before or after? And there's two methods you can definitely do, be doing your concealer. Number one, you could be using a concealer to do coverage on your skin. And what I mean by coverage is if you have redness, see I have rosacea on my skin. It looks like I almost have, it almost looks like I have blemishes, but it's almost underneath the skin. 
And rosacea can be redness of the skin and also white whiteheads. And um, as most of you know, as I've, I've said this many times, that I've de developed rosacea since I moved to Texas because I believe it's from the environment around me and because of the water. It's a lot more harder than it was in Canada. So I've developed this and of course my skincare is going to help me with my rosacea, but I still am always going to have a different coloration of my skin. So concealer can be used as coverage underneath your foundation. A concealer underneath your foundation can be in a lighter shade or an even shade, which means that your concealer would be the exact same shade as your foundation. So it's more for coverage and additional, additional coverage to make the skin and color tones even. So it gives additional coverage for any imperfections that you feel that you may have. It can be for scarring, blemishes, and so forth. Having it closer to your skin is going to help. Now, like I said, for extra coverage, I would do that underneath your foundation. I'm gonna do it on half of my face so you can see the difference. So if I'm gonna do extra coverage, you can go in lighter shades. You can do that, okay? Now, lighter shades underneath where your eyes are, you can definitely do that because then it gives a pop, especially if you have darker eyes, um, darker bags underneath your eyes. Now, ladies, we all know, okay, as mothers and even as career women, okay, many of us are not getting a lot of sleep. What they always say is beauty sleep, right? They always say beauty sleep is gonna help you make you feel better. Well, it does, because when your body restores itself, your skin and everything else is gonna feel better. But if you're literally only on like four or five hours sleep, of course, you're gonna look like you're tired. You're gonna look like you're gonna have bags underneath your eyes. So to help that and to help coverage with your face, underneath the eyes, you can go lighter or you can go the same color. So. If I was to go with the same color, I would go with, with my skin type, usually velour is the color I would go with. Now that's in the winter. Um, now the color I'm gonna use in foundation is actually taffeta, but I'm using velour because it is the closest shade in that and I'm just gonna use it on my face. So when using your concealer, you can use a concealer brush. I'm always missing my concealer brush and I never know why I'm always missing it. So let me just find it for a second. Oh, there you are. Okay, so if I'm using this for extra coverage, I would go in where there's extra blemishes, right? So if I need extra coverage in certain areas, I would go in there. You don't need very much, okay? I'm gonna do this side of my eye. So if I want to do under eyes, as extra coverage underneath my foundation, yes, use concealer underneath the foundation, okay? And it is going to serve a purpose. It's going to create, it's gonna create an extra coverage of a little bit more thicker if you have more problematic areas. Now, problematic areas can also be, um, some women actually have more blood vessels or even um, aging spots. Sometimes they're a little bit harder to cover with foundation. So yes, concealer can be used underneath the foundation to give the extra coverage. Not necessarily highlighting, but the extra coverage. So, and you only need a little bit of this concealer just a little bit. I only use a little bit and this concealer, even though it's a very small bottle, literally I've used my Scarlet foundation for over a year now. It's probably been a year and a half. So think about how much you're actually spending. <laughs> think about how much you're actually spending on um, cheaper products or lower quality products and products that are going to run out quicker. Uh, to tell you the truth, this product is not even expensive, very, very comparable to other products, but it's also gonna last you twice to three times longer. So as you can see, it's creating a huge difference in the coverage of my skin. And that's where my rosacea is, so I'm just adding coverage. And think about blemishes also, dark spots or anything like that, that's gonna give, I have a big scar here. Uh, I was actually attacked by a dog in Europe, um, half wolf, it was half wolf, no joke. 
um, and literally bit me on the face um, and attacked my face at the time. So I still have um, scarring from that and I was 19 years old. So as you can see, that's creating an even look on my face as a concealer. <clears throat> so the next way to use a concealer is to highlight to the skin. So that would be used on top of your foundation. So like I said, two ways to use concealer, one for extra coverage to do any extra blemishes that you have, coloring, discoloration, um, anything along those lines. It's going to help cover that and then give you extra coverage besides your foundation. The other way to use concealer is to use it on top of your foundation. So concealer can be used as a highlight and to create a little bit more pop on the face in order to give a little bit more dimension and a little bit more oomph on the face on top of it. So you can use concealer in two ways um, and that's a beauty tip that I really wanna give. So what I'm gonna use now is I'm gonna use Liquid Touch Foundation all over my face. And this is a color in um, Taffeta. So what I like to do is, this is a liquid to matte cons um, foundation. So I'm just gonna take all the product out of that from the dropper and then shake this very well. And with this product, I'm gonna put this all over my face. So I've added extra coverage on the left side of my face, you're right. And what I'm gonna do is just put about four, four or five drops on the back of my hand. And I am going to use Oh no, where are you? There we go. This Liquid Touch Foundation Brush, which is almost like a stipple brush. It is absolutely amazing. I don't like to put it into the brush. There is a hole in here in order to put extra product in there. I don't like to do that because I want an even coverage all over my face. So I'm gonna go right in. Sorry, I'm gonna use my mirror here, so I'm looking down. And I'm gonna go over my lips too because adding extra coverage on my lips is gonna make my lipstick stay. That's another little beauty tip. And I'm going right in and I'm pushing in the product. The reason why I'm pushing in the product into the skin and not necessarily dragging it is because I already put primer underneath. If I put primer underneath, that means that it's being pushed into my skin and not into my pores. It's being pushed into the product to actually stay and last all day. So as I told you, I have already done my eyes. So I'm trying to work around my face and look at that coverage already with the concealer underneath. How much coverage, you do not see any redness at all on my face from the foundation, none. So I'm working from the center out of my face. Look at the coverage already. From one side that's already still red, pigmented here. As you can see, all my rosacea, and then look at this side with flawless skin. And that's with the extra coverage of the concealer underneath, creating no black underneath the eye because I do have, I've been suffering from insomnia while I've been pregnant. And let me tell you, like I feel I don't look rusted and I do have bags underneath my eyes normally. So I'm gonna put some more product on the other side I don't need very much, put another three drops. Now, how long does your foundation last with Unique? It really depends how many, how many times you're using it. If you're using it every single day, oh God, it can last you three months, but it can last you much longer. So it really all depends how much product you're using and so forth, right? And how much coverage would you like? Now, this product is also layering, you can, layerable. So it means that you can go over it <clears throat> to add more coverage if you like, and it's not gonna create that cakiness in the skin. And why I like to use this brush is because it really pushes into the skin like a stipple brush and gives you that extra coverage. So, as you can see, I used the foundation and I didn't use concealer on this side, right? So I'm gonna use the concealer in the other way. I'm gonna use the concealer as more of a highlight now, not necessarily coverage like I did on this side to create a very even tone of face and color <clears throat> on this side. I'm gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna create more highlight. And to do that, like I said, I'm a taffeta color. We have 12 different shades in foundation. Mine is kind of on the light to medium spectrum. 
but I'm going to use the, sh the lightest shade in Scarlet, which is four shades lower. And I like to use this as a highlight because it does create a beautiful highlight. Um, you can go as low as you want to go or um, as as light, you know, uh, three, four shades lighter or even two shades lighter. It really doesn't matter. If you want to create more highlight, I always go to at least two shades lighter. So let's talk about, so this is a concealer brush from Unique. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going in here. So this is creating a highlight. I've done this on top of my foundation. I'm going to go over the cupid's oil just a little bit. That's too much. See, I've only, I put only a little bit of product on here and it's already too much. So with concealer, you don't want to use too much. A little bit goes a very long way. A rice size amount, rice, one rice size amount can do the entire face. So this is a highlight. So highlighted areas like to do the forehead, the nose, Cupid's bow. You can even do the chin. I don't like to do too much of the chin. See, I have so much product left back here. And I like to do the underneath. Okay. So in order to help with the product, I can go back in with my foundation brush. And I don't want to move around concealer too much. The purpose of concealer is to give extra coverage, right? So with concealer, you don't want to be dragging it. You want to still be pushing into the skin and creating a beautiful highlight. So these are little beauty tricks. I kept on saying that, you know, you can use your concealer in different ways and you can. You can use it as extra coverage by going closer to your, your actual skin color or you can use a little bit lighter if you want. And to create a highlight, I always go in a lighter color and create the highlight more dramatic underneath the eye if you have any darkness underneath there. Now, in order to create a little bit more coverage and into the skin, I like to use a blending bud, okay? And I like to create, see how much highlight that created? Created way more highlight than this side. So, when doing your skin and using a concealer, a concealer can be used so many different ways and is very versatile. This side is giving extra coverage in order to create an even skin tone. This side, I've done foundation and I also use concealer as a highlight. So now I've already created a little bit of a contour on my cheek because I've used a lighter color on my face as a highlight. So as you can see, it's already created a huge difference in highlight underneath this side versus this side. This side is all an even tone and the concealer on this side is giving me a highlight. So after I'm done with that product, I do want to say one thing. This month we talk about the fabulous or the flawless four. The flawless four consists of four products, which is a primer, foundation, the concealer, and also the foundation brush. All four products normally are $139 in the US, but it's on sale for $99 this month. So that means you technically get the foundation for free. That's huge. In Canada, it's normally $167, but you get it for $119 in Canada. So again, you get the foundation for free. So this month, if you want to get that beautiful coverage, please contact me to get this because it is a fabulous deal. $40 off in the US and more than, I think it's, I think it's $47 in Canada. So it is a huge, huge value. Do not miss out on that. Then what I like to do is use the Behold uh, Translucent Powder, which is currently on back order with Unique, but it's amazing. And I'm going to use the Translucent Powder and put it, put it underneath and set my foundation. No matter what foundation I'm using, even if it's Liquid Touch Foundation, which is a liquid to matte foundation. It really is. It's called liquid for a reason. It gives great coverage and it feels great all day. It does. It's not heavy like Mac. There are so many products out there that are full coverage that are absolutely heavy on your skin and look cakey through the day. 
not this product, not our products. They are for the everyday woman and create a beautiful look. Now this, tr this setting powder and translucent powder is super, super light. It molds into the skin and creates a very flawless look by evening out pore size, reducing it, and then melting into your skin, creating some great warmth, and then evening out any fine lines or pore issues. So it really does set the skin, it gives a beautiful look to it, and it gives a great finish. So if you are an oily type person, okay, like I am, I'm very, very oily. Within a half an hour, you can see sheen on my face. Literally, it's annoying. But this translucent powder helps reduce that sheen completely and makes your, your makeup stay on completely through the whole day. If you're more on the dry side, this is not gonna create any more dryness on your skin. It actually is going to create more of an even look on the skin. So that is the translucent powder if you're looking for that. I'm gonna do one more thing for my lips, which I'm gonna add some color. This is a dress that I have, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a red on my lips. And this is not really any of my beauty tips, but I wanted to add a lipstick because it is awesome. So Popular is a lip liner that I'm gonna put on my lips. I always start with the Cupid's bow and create like an X on the top. And because I put foundation, which is a huge beauty tip of mine, I always say to put foundation on your lips because it does help even out the tone on the outside of the lip and it allows the lipstick to adhere even better. It creates an even palette on your lip also and I'm gonna go in with Top Notch, which is a beautiful brand new kind of ready fire engine red color on my lips. And I'm using a lip brush because a lip brush, which is another beauty tip, a lip brush will use less product than you would if you're actually using lipstick on its own on top of your lips. It creates precision and will help let the lipstick not bleed. And more than likely, you will not get that on your teeth. See, it's pretty, pretty amazing. So like I said, <clears throat> Translucent powder is fantastic for on top of the skin. It doesn't add any other color on top of the foundation you're putting on there. So pressed powders usually have a pigment in it. So a pressed powder can give great coverage. A translucent powder will not alter the color that you're doing on there. So for instance, I've created a highlight on this side with a concealer on top of my foundation. So it's not altering the color as you can see, I still have a contour on that side. And this side I have an absolutely even tone of foundation and concealer because I use the concealer underneath my foundation. So those are my beauty tips for today in regards to getting a really flawless look on your face and creating your look a little bit differently with two types of use for your concealer. If you have any questions or would like some color matches for the Flawless Four this month, please message me. If you have any hesitation of what concealer to get and what foundation to get, that is something that I can definitely help you with as a makeup artist and really, really get that color match correct for you. So thanks everyone, have a fantastic day. Happy Monday and I hope you're having a wonderful one. Bye everyone, see you later.